What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today in this video, I wanna go over the top 10 Cydia tweaks, including this theme that I'm rocking right here. Now, I do wanna turn this into a series, so if you guys wanna see that, then be sure to hit that like button and I'll continue to do it. But let's go ahead and jump into this list. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about here is the theme, and this theme is called Biscuit. So it's a really cool theme. I think it's got some really nice color schemes and it's got a lot of different UI elements as well. So you can see the different indicators right up here. You also have you know, the smaller icons here in the settings. Uh, there's a different charging sound, which you can see right here. If I pull this out, you can hear that little different sound right there. There's also a Respring logo, a lot of cool stuff. Definitely recommend it if you're looking for this type of look. Now, of course, if you guys want this wallpaper, I'll be sure to link it in the description below. So just click on that. It'll link to a tweet that I tweet out on Twitter and you guys can grab that. But now let's go ahead and get into the tweak. So the first tweak I want to talk about here is called Always Touch for iOS 9 Plus. So all you do right here is basically, even if you don't have a passcode enabled on your device, then you can still use the Touch ID with any finger, just like that. So it doesn't matter if your device has a passcode whatsoever, it's always going to allow you to unlock your device with Touch ID. Again, even if I just put you know something over it, just my knuckle, you can see that it works just fine. Next, I want to talk about a tweak that you probably just saw in its Next, I want to talk about a tweak that you probably just saw, and it's called Blur Lock. So basically what it does is blur whatever you have on your screen at the time that you lock your device. So it's giving you a peek at what your device is going to unlock too. So for instance, if that doesn't make sense, you can see right here that I have the home screen. So if I lock my device, then when I open this up, it's actually going to be a blurred screen of my home screen. Now, if I actually go into an application, let's say like uh, settings, and then let's go ahead and lock it. So now when I go to my lock screen, you actually see that it's the blurred version of whatever I'm going to unlock my device to. So kind of a cool tweak. Now the next week I wanna talk about is called Long Stories. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and open up Instagram, uh, when you're adding a story to Instagram, you can actually swipe down right here and you can access the last photos or videos that you've added to your library over the past 24 hours. So what Long Stories does is actually give you access to your entire library. So it basically breaks that 24 hour limit. So if I wanted to, or if you wanted to, you can add any type of video or photo from your camera roll from any time, it could be from two years ago, right into your, your uh, Instagram story right here. Here we have a tweak called Nota Copy, and this is really simple. What it does is you basically press and hold on the notification, and when you let go, it'll actually copy that notification. So if we go ahead and do that again, let go, you can see copy to clipboard. So now when I unlock my device, and let's just say that I go into my messages, and we can paste that right there or anywhere else for that matter, on your device. Next we have PokeGo Lock Screen, or PokeGo LS. So what this does is allow you to use a GIF right there on your lock screen. So if you enable this, by default, it's gonna use a Pokemon Go lock screen, but you can see, if I go ahead and lock it, this right here is the, the default GIF. Now the cool thing about this is, is it's really simple to use your own GIF by just selecting custom GIF right there in the PokeGo LS settings. Here we have a tweet called Siri Keep Listening. So if we go ahead and activate Siri right here, usually if you try to take a short pause or you know you get anxiety when you actually you know activate Siri and you just stop because you can't think of the word like this, it would usually conti not continue because Siri would recognize that break or that pause as actual you completing your request or statement. But obviously you can see here that I can take as many pauses as I want. And then once I'm done, I can just tap on this right here and it'll continue. Next is 3D no div. So if you have 3D touch on your device, rather than having a divider on that little menu, you don't have it with 3D no div. And it just basically looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit more minimalistic. Also, we have iOS 10 UI sound. So this is really cool. I really, really like the keyboard sounds on iOS 10. You guys probably will too. If you guys haven't heard them before, this is it. So that's really nice. It also gives you uh, the lock screen or the lock sound, which I think sounds pretty terrible, but I'll let you guys decide that for yourself. You just listen. It's very short, very abrupt, not something I'm very much of a fan of. 
And last but not least, we have a tweak called NC Pop. So if you're in an application and you pull down your notification center, you're actually gonna get a cool little animation as we start to pull that down. You can see in the background that app is actually getting a little bit smaller and kind of fading away and then you pull down your notification. Now you can actually customize this a little bit in the settings to basically change the look. So if we go into the settings real quick and we go to NC Pop, you can see you can scale the percentage, you can change the pull down percent as well as the fade percent. So let's just go ahead and completely, or almost completely fade it out. We'll just kind of amp up everything just to kind of show you guys what that does. So then you can just pull down, you can see exactly what that does and it just kind of fades off into the background as you pull down your notification center. So a pretty cool little animation tweak right there. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did and you wanna continue this series, then be sure to hit that like button on this video. That way you let me know that you wanna see more videos just like this. All right guys, if you wanna stay up to date with everything jailbreak, tech, Apple, or anything else that I wanna talk about, be sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.